Have you ever felt at some point in your life that Jesus couldn't possibly have come for you, that somehow you're not good enough? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome to today's episode of Fresh. Some people are just considered to be, well, scum of the earth. Child molesters, rapists, con men who swindle elderly couples out of their life savings. And back in Jesus' days, add to them tax collectors. Not only were they corrupt, but they were Jews who collected taxes for the occupying Romans, which means that they were considered to be traitors as well. So the Jesus megastar juggernaut swings into town. Huge crowds are following him as he walks down the road. And in the midst of all this hoopla, Jesus espies Levi the tax collector, a guy with scum of the earth status on the first century Jewish social register. So what does Jesus, this God-man, this son of the living God, creator of the universe, do? Luke chapter 5, beginning at verse 27. After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector sitting at his place for collecting taxes. His name was Levi. Jesus said to him, follow me. Levi got up, left everything and followed Jesus. Then Levi gave a big dinner at his house for Jesus. At the table, there were many tax collectors and some other people too. Can you believe that? I mean, that's outrageous. There are so many other people who are so much more deserving of Jesus' attention. Doesn't Jesus know that this Levi guy and his, all his mates are scum of the earth? Sure he does. That was the whole point. That, that's why he came. For Levi, for you, for me, for anyone, anyone who's prepared to follow him. Don't ever let the devil trick you into thinking that Jesus didn't come from the likes of you. He absolutely came for you. That's God's word fresh for you today. And not only did he come for you, he came to bless you. Now, I know that with the things you may have going on in your life, maybe that's a bit too hard to believe. And that's why I'd love to send you a free copy of our latest life application booklet. It's called, Does God Really Want to Bless Me? To request your free copy, stop by at ChristianityWorks.com. You'll see that offer right there towards the top of the homepage. Again, that's ChristianityWorks.com.